Now with the new defaults that we're introducing, setting up Autonomous Budget Optimizer in the most efficient way has become easier than ever before. When you enter the Autonomous Budget Optimizer underneath Automations, you're greeted with a default called Yahav's Ecom Favorite Balance Strategy. Yahav is our founder and CEO, and he spent day and night really perfecting the ideal setup on life accounts. What you can do is you can go ahead and just launch the setup with all the default configurations of what are the key KPIs to optimize for, how much do we want to spend depending on what performances we see, what are the different KPIs that matter most for a well-managed advertising strategy, and what are the different timeframes we want to configure. All of these variables are already configured and set up in this default using your specific ad account data, smart defaults. If you want to simulate the impact to see how the strategy would change and optimize your budgets, you can click on simulate impact and you're greeted with this following view, where you have an easy overview about what was your spending yesterday and how much are you projected to spend tomorrow after the autonomous budget optimizer executed first of its changes. You can further dive deeper into acquisition prospecting, re-engagement, retargeting, retention, because the Autonomous Budget Optimizer is the first algorithm to really sit on top of all your campaigns, all your funnel stages, and optimizes budgets across them. So with a blink of an eye, I can see that my spending on re-engagement will hardly increase, but my spending on acquisition prospecting will actually increase quite nicely. I can further deep dive into looking into all the individual ad sets and understand how much I'm currently spending and how, uh, by how much the budget would be changed uh, uh, in the next day. All of this is done according to a grading system and the grading system is the final outcome uh, by, of the algorithm by looking into all the different performances, looking into the different KPIs and how they perform over the different timeframes. If you wanna make adjustments, and you think some of the scaling is too aggressive or too shallow, you can click on this three dots right here and go into edit strategy. And then you're greeted with the uh, all too well known uh, insights and, and settings page to really configure the autonomous budget optimizer even further. So if you think some of the KPIs, you want to change them depending on your business case, you can easily do that. If you think that today and yesterday performances are significantly more important than the last seven days, you can change the percentages here without a problem. If you think changing the budgets every single day is a little bit too aggressive, you can change it right here without a problem. If you want to take more control in terms of the budget spending and you don't want it to scale so aggressively or you want to have it scale faster, you can go in here and make the adjustments depending on the performance picture, what spending you're okay with spending. You make the changes, you click on next, and you're good to go. You adjust the default. So go inside the Autonomous Budget Optimizer, uh, simulate the strategy, test it out and run it. I promise you won't regret it. If you have any questions, leave a message in the chat support, book a meeting with us, and we can't wait to help. Thank you so much.